Hi everyone and welcome in this new video. In this video, I will explain you how to import CFD ticks data and futures ticks data from MetaTurtle 5 using Python. As you might understood if you are into the AlphaCon program, this video is included into the third monthly project, which is how to deal with large data sets. And this video will explain you how to import few ticks from MetaTurtle 5. And so the goal of the project is once you know how to import some ticks, to repeat the process, to store the data in the best way possible, to handle the data in the best way possible. Because as you know, if you want to deal with 10 years of ticks, for example, you will have millions of data. So you need to have a clear process to deal with that because you just can't load one CSV file, for example, like you do if you work with one day bars. So if you are into the AlphaCon program, feel free to ask any question about this video in the private rooms. And if you are not into that and you are interested in to take your Chrome trading skills to the next level, feel free to take a look in the description because we have a 30 days money back guarantee. So after this long introduction, Let's get started and let's open a Jupyter Notebook. So for this video, let's assume that you have already installed MetaTurtle 5 on a Windows device. It's really important to have your MetaTurtle 5 platform on a Windows device because the Python library that you will use, the MetaTurtle 5 Python library, works only on Windows. So you can just create a new session on your Mac or you can also use an application like Parallels Desktop, it's exactly what I do, to emulate a Windows device on your Mac, if you have a Mac, for example. And for those of you who are on Windows, just open a Jupyter Notebook page. First, I will show you the manipulation to import some ticks, and then I will explain you how to select the CFD data or the futures data for the assets. The second prerequisite, which is obvious in my opinion is to have installed the MetaTurtle 5 library. So first of all, I will just import few libraries. So this is just a warning, so it doesn't matter for us. Then the next thing that we need to do absolutely is to connect our Python sheet to MetaTurtle 5. For example, if there I close my MetaTurtle 5, how Python will know where he needs to take the data, okay? He can't know how import the data if you didn't link your MetaTurtle 5 platform with your Python sheet. And to do that, it's really simple. You just write mt5.initialize. And normally, it will open your MetaTurtle 5 platform on the background and you will receive true. If you have false, it means that Python was not able to find a MetaTurtle 5 platform. Then I will just take two dates, so the start date and the end date, okay? Here, the from to date, to have an interval to import my ticks. The next step is to use the copy ticks range function from MetaTurtle 5 to import our ticks. And it's not more complicated than that. And that's the beauty of this library. But before running this cell, you need to be aware of some things, okay? You need to take always a symbol that you have on your market watch. For example, here, I can keep the Euro USD. If I go there, I can run this cell and I will have some ticks, okay? But here, we want to pre-process a bit the data. So it's just an example. And of course, depending on your needs, you can do whatever you want. You have right now the ticks already, so that's beautiful. So to have a better visualization, what I will do is just transform this tick array into a data frame to have a better visualization of our data. So now, as we can see, the only last thing that we have to do is to transform this time column into a date time format to have a better understanding of the data that we have. And so now if I run this cell, I have the ticks data. But now your question might be, which data I have imported? It is the CFD data or the futures data? And the answer is really simple. The data 
that you are extracting using this function are the data from your broker. For example, here I am on Admiral Markets. So if I want to import the data, I need to put the symbol that I have on my market watch because if I let just Euro USD, I will have an error because on my market watch, I didn't have any Euro USD. I have Euro USD Z. And that's why you need to be really, really precise. Now I have my data. Admiral Markets provides only CFD data. So if you want your CFD data, you just have to go on your broker. Personally, to extract the data, I use Admiral Market because they have a huge historic of data. And the, that's for the CFD. And if you go here on symbol, you can see all the different symbol. For example, here, if you want indices, you just have to add this symbol into your market watch. And I will just write CAC 14 Z and I will have the data for this asset. So as you can see, it's very easy. And for the future, you just have to use a broker that will provide futures to trade. Personally, to import futures data, I use the broker AMP futures. But if you have any other one that provides historical data that works on MT5, you can extract the data using exactly the same code. So you can find all this code on the GitHub link in the description. And now I just want to do a quick recap about why using ticks is so important. When you are working on quant trading or algorithmic trading, each trading strategy that you have is based on an edge. And this edge can disappear at any time. The more the people will use the same strategy than you, the less this strategy become profitable. So using ticks is difficult, at least more difficult than using one day bars with technical indicators, for example. So using ticks will give you an advantage to all the other traders that don't use ticks. The more you will use data which are difficult to handle or difficult to find, the longer you will keep the edge that you will find. It's so obvious. Above all, using the ticks, you can trade different type of bars. For example, you know all the fixed time bars, one minute, one hour, one day, but it's not obviously the best way to summarize our ticks. You can take the volume, you can take the number of ticks, you can take some other information. So you have a lot of different possibilities and we'll see many of them in one of the next monthly project into the AlphaQuant program. And if you are still there, I think it's the good moment to give you more details about the AlphaQuant program because it means that you are really interested by this topic. The AlphaQuant program is a program combining e-learning videos, seven day of a seven to never been stuck, and also monthly project to help you applicating all the subject that we see in the e-learning video. With all of that, you have also templates, codes, private community, and much more. So if you are interested, take a look to it using the link in the description. That was all for this video. I hope you liked it. And if you have any other subject that you want that I abort, just please let me know it in the comments area.